All right, so welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. I am about to do a review of what I think may be the best Kaiser I've seen in a long time. This is the Knives Fast channel. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Stick around, guys. We have so much fun on the live stream. Uh, come check one out, 7.45 p.m. on Monday nights. And uh, check me out over on Instagram at Knives Fast. Now, uh, let's just move this for a second. Whoops, this side. This is a more premium Kaiser. This is the Kaiser Beyond. And I don't know if I'm going to try to butcher the poor designer's name. It's Vu Haiyan Nam On, I think, or Nam An. I don't know. Um, I'm sure I said that wrong, and so don't at me. 3.32 um, inches, S35VN, and titanium handle. And this, guys, is uh pretty dang cool and uh i'm i'm liking this one a lot and it's not usually it's not a style that i usually flock to it, there's a lot more geom geometrical shape going on here uh even in the lock bar and everywhere else i mean even in the clip i mean it's just a very funky futuristic kind of design uh, but somehow I'm really digging it and I think it has a lot to do with uh, the way it uh, moves and sounds, but also just a very useful uh, knife as well. So let's get into it. It is uh, titanium frames with a titanium backspacer. You do have a really cool looking uh, backspacer here with a lanyard hole chamfering uh, all the way down and up all the way around and again these really crazy geometrical shapes uh, on the handle you do have again here's your lock bar cutout um, now I see something that I didn't pay attention to yep it does okay so uh, your screw for your um, uh, steel lock bar interface is on the inside you can you might be able to see it right there uh, there is significant milling inside this handle and um, at first I thought this was aluminum simply because I don't know if you can hear this it sounds almost hollow um, on on the handle uh, because it is milled so deeply inside the handle for weight reduction it is super crazy um, and there are your screws, all satiny and everything. Here is your single screw, but uh, inset down into uh, the scale uh, pocket clip. It is not reversible. You got about that much sticking out of the pocket, which, you know, not really a problem for me. Um, and it's just a really, really cool looking knife. Now, here is uh, my favorite part of this knife. You ready? that sound uh this thing is insane uh again i think it's the hollowness and i think what you're hearing a little bit is the detent ball on the blade and through resonating through the handle but it just has a crazy sound now we have a tanto blade which is not normally my favorite you know that and it's still not my favorite but uh this is a really cool option for those that like that now you're fuller here is completely covered up so you can't really use that but you use this hole and it works really well um, same thing there uh, there is no flipper tab or front flipper tab it's just a whole open knife uh, it did come centered I just double checking uh, yeah it's pretty much as yeah I can actually touch the tip but you're not going to touch it without trying um, and so it's, it's blade to handle is right where it should be. Now we do have flat scales here, um, which, you know, is fine with me, but again, the contouring, I mean, the, uh, chamfering helps out a lot. You do have a decent amount of lock bar access with a chamfer. Uh, good job, Kaiser. This is riding on bearings and guys just, you ready? Check this out. Yeah. Um, all right. I'm going to back my light up so you can see that just a little bit better. And it's that satin uh, finish on the blade that makes it a little harder for the camera to pick up uh, at the angle of the light. But look at that. Now, um, this is flat ground in both cases. Um, and it is S35. There's your uh, maker's mark and beyond. And uh, I love how they polish the inside of that fuller. Look at that. I mean, it's just freaking stunning. Uh, that they did that. That is beautiful. Now, let's talk about what I was worried about with this knife, which is ergonomics because it's more square and geometric. Wow. Um, so, 
if if you're just holding this knife, like most humans hold a knife, just kind of gripping it, not really hard, but everything else, it's fine. Uh, it, it is really good. I do have a full four finger grip here, as you can see, and a little bit of room to choke up. Now I will say, um, like for example, when my finger overlaps right here, uh, that is a little sharp. I just wish that those angles were finished off just a little bit more. Uh, you can see it's thicker. Um, it's not super thick, but you do have that. And the same thing down here. Now they did contour this, but they left this flat right here. So again, in the back of this grip back here on my pinky, uh, on this part right here, you feel that. Now, is it bad? No. Is it a hot spot? No. Uh, do you feel it when you're bearing down? Yes, you do. Now, when you're choking up, uh, I lose all that because now I come past that. Um, yeah, I still feel this, but it's not bad. And, uh, you know, that is actually the grip that I prefer on this knife. You do have this squarish cutout. Doesn't feel super duper comfortable on that. And again, that's why I have preferred choking up like this. And again, um, you know, that's part of, of making a design the way you want it. I'm sure he wanted it this angular. And, and that's one of the things I talk about all the time. If you're going to do a Tanto blade with all the angles, uh, then you need an angular handle. And that's what, he, that's what he did. You know, same thing with me when I make a flowing blade. I like a flowing looking handle with, with nice smooth angles. Man, I am not kidding. The detent, guys, is absolutely dialed on this. And then the action with that, with the bearings is just, I mean, the <laughs> detent not coming out, just absolutely perfect. Um, yes, it's, it's a good cutter. And yes, will pierce as well with that Tanto tip. Um, yeah, no problems with that whatsoever. Now, uh, when we are locked up, yeah, no lock rock, no blade play, uh, like 50% here on the lockup. Uh, I am super impressed with this knife overall. Let's put it here and let's talk. Um, wow, specs, if I can find my phone, there we go. Uh, so I'm going to give you guys, this is available, it looks like at Knife Center, but I'm going to give you Kaiser, uh, Kaiser's information because I have a, a, an affiliate link I can put down there for you. This is $169, again designed by, I don't know how to pronounce it, Vu Hayun Nam On is what I would guess I would say, 7.98 inches overall. It is a Tanto 3.35 inch blade. Uh, the blade stock is 0.11 or 2.8 millimeters, so pretty dang thin. And, and again, it's not really tall, so we still we get a good edge here, uh, but it's good that they started with really thin stock. That is really nice, S35. Uh, the handle length is 4.55, so plenty of room even for bigger hands. Uh, 3.58 ounces. And again, we have a gray uh, kind of bead blasted finish here as far as our friendly neighborhood comparisons uh, by the way this comes by way of my buddy lefty so uh, it'll go into the pass around group to some other folks here uh, so they can check this out as well all right and you can see it's about the same length now it's a little shorter than uh, the rat one and a little longer than the rat two there are our comparisons very very cool so i really enjoyed checking out the kaiser beyond and again that sound is so unique uh it is just super cool i have had fun uh messing around with that one and i'm sure my wife probably hates it by now so there you go guys definitely thumbs up comment down below let me know what you think uh do all the things for the channel like comment subscribe hit that notification bell and thank you so much for watching the knives fast channel